As you know, the uh, E90 has different shortcuts, uh, buttons for different applications on the phone. You have the desktop, you have contacts, messaging, web, notes, calendar, and my own key, and the menu key. Uh, we're going to click on the contacts button, and as you can see, the contacts pop right up on the screen. Um, when you go down through the listing here, we're going to choose Apple Computer Incorporated, um, you'll see on the uh, right side of the screen, you'll have uh, more details available as far as the telephone number, web address, street. It's pretty much like a preview screen showing uh, the general information in a preview mode. Uh, once you do decide to select that contact, it'll then go into that dedicated screen for that contact. You'll have the contact's name up at the top left-hand corner of the screen, and then you'll have all of the information about that contact at your disposal here in the drop-down menu. Everything from your telephone number to the company name, web address, emails, um, even birthdays can be popped up on here. Um, and as you can see down here at the lower right-hand corner, you have the, uh, the picture. Um, of, of the contact that's loaded up onto the phone. So that's pretty much it. What we're going to do now is show you how I use this phone on a regular basis along with my MacBook Pro sitting right here. Um, I told you once before that I usually write a lot of uh, blog entries and a lot of poetry. And so what I have to do is you know, type it up on here with the QWERTY keyboard, which is very nice. Uh, save it saved onto the phone, and then I have to find a way to move that document from here onto here so that I can post it on my website blog or what have you. Um, two ways of doing this. I can, use, I can transfer the document wirelessly through Bluetooth by just, you know, sending it from here to the computer, or I can go onto the back and go into the uh, micro SD card slot extract the micro SD card, pop it into the reader, install that into the USB port on the side of my MacBook Pro and transfer it that way. But normally if I only have like one document or one picture to send, I'll just take the easy route and transfer it from Bluetooth directly. So I'm going to demonstrate, for, demonstrate that for you right now. I'm on my desktop here. What I'm going to, going to do is then select the Quick Office application, which is basically an equivalent to Microsoft Office here on the phone. Um, I have a listing here of different documents that I have typed that are stored on the phone, and I'm going to choose one document to send to the MacBook Pro. The one that I'm going to choose just happens to be entitled No iPhone Soon. <laughs> so I'm going to select options on the side here with this uh, side key and then I'm going to select send from the drop down menu. Once I select that you'll see that it offers me to send it via multimedia, by email, by Bluetooth, or by infrared. In this case I'm going to choose infrared. Hit the select key there. All right. Once I select Bluetooth, it's going to bring up devices that have already been discovered by my E90 earlier. Um, I have my MacBook Pro, my N93, my Nokia keyboard, and the E61i. In this case, I'm going to select the uh, MacBook Pro. Right now, it should be connecting, and as you can see here on my, on my MacBook Pro, there is a small window asking to accept the connection, and I've chosen to accept it, and boom, it's there. That simple. Transfers from here to the MacBook Pro in seconds, pretty much. Right now, what I'm going to do is access the document directly from the Documents folder that it's been transferred to automatically. I've extracted it, get rid of the Documents folder, and now I'm going to open up the document in Microsoft Word on my MacBook Pro. All right, there it is opening. Boom, there you go. All these words that you see here have all been typed on my E90. And through just a simple Bluetooth transfer, I now have it on my MacBook Pro. And then from this point on, I usually just uh, spell check it from here, and then I copy and paste the entire thing into my web blog, my website, um, pretty much anything I want to. So that's pretty much it. That's Trenton Smith, and that's how I use my E90. Take care. Bye.